How's it going all my tacticians and welcome back to another competitive analysis video. This time we're talking about the Queen of Thickness herself from Generation 7, Alola's one and only, the Sun Deer of Plants, Sarina. I had no idea what I was going where I was going with that. I seriously have no idea. I was just spouting random words. Whatever. In any case, Serena is one of Generation 7's uniquest or unique Pokemon. It's it's a pure grass type. She comes complete with, you know, a very powerful set of moves and stats, but there was always one thing that kept her from, you know, really making a splash in competitive scenes, and that was the fact that she was really slow. I'll get into the stats later on, but let, regardless, let's talk about the nature you're going to be wanting with Serena and the ability. Now, you're going to want one of two set, two uh, natures. One is Adamant Nature, or as I've chosen here, Jolly Nature for the, for the high speed or high physical attack stat. One of the two, and you will be golden. As for ability, like I said, Queenly Majesty is the one you're going to be wanting for, because Queenly Majesty prevents all... You know, all, or what do you call it, uh, priority moves. Prevents all priority moves from being affected on your side of the field as long as she is still on the field. And when I mean all priorities, I mean all priorities. Whether it's like priority taunt from like pranksters, your priority uh, fake out moves, or priority attack moves such as Aqua Jet or Sucker Punch. It doesn't matter. If it's priority, it's going to be stopped by Serena. Now, as for moves, you know... Serena does have quite an interesting move set here. Like the first one is going to be that you're going to be wanting is the Trop Kick. Now, while Trop Kick does not have the oomph, you might you might be wanting for like some other moves, like say Seed Bomb or something, or like the other or the other grass move she got here is like a Power Whip or something. What Trop Kick offers you is the ability to reduce the opponent's attack stack, while also having a nice 100% chance to hit with this move and a real you know real decent attack power set of 70 this is one of the this is the unique move to Sur to the Serena line it doesn't matter what your opponent is if like say it's a physical attack or so that drop kick will lower the attack stat the only move or the only Pokemon that will you know prevent the attack stat loss would be like Corviknight and obviously Pokemon that you don't want to hit with this are like those Defiant Pokemon or Competitive Pokemon. One of those two, you don't want to hit with that. But, you know, Trop for all the other Pokemon, Trop Kick is your go-to for that. For a nice, powerful stab boost. Now, let's say you want some real high power. Well, you got the High Jump Kick. Yellow High Jump Kick, as they say. as Or as I call it. Decent accuracy. You have a risk of, you know, exploding on yourself with it. But for, a, you know, a 10% accuracy loss... That extra power you get with it is real, real nice to have, especially for Serena. Play rough, anti dragon. There you go. Enough said. Anti dragon, play rough. There you go. 90 accuracy, 90, 90 base power. Good anti dragon, like I said, as well as anti uh, fighting type as well. Good to have that fairy type typing. Now, for the last move, most people would want to run something like knockoff or something. I don't actually know if Serena gets knockoff in this generation, but one thing has always, like I said, always kept Serena from getting that, you know, that real nice competitive scene or usage, and that is the fact that Serena was slow, you know, requiring a choice scarf to actually be competitively viable. So while most people would want to run like a U-turn or something, one move you could run, especially against if you, if you like have real high fears of like, say, uh, like what you call it, the uh, entry hazards. There you go. If you really, really, really fear the entry hazards, rapid spin is your go-to. There. A lot of people, a lot of competitive people, make use of the rapid spin. You know, back then it was only only there to help deal with uh, you know entry hazard Pokemon, etc. Wasn't really viable. You know, outside of that niche, most people wouldn't run a rapid spin simply because it lacked the damage output that other moves would have. But in this generation, Rapid Spin actually gives you a speed boost. So that is a new gimmick there. New little tech there for those of you who want to run, you know, something that would that has, you know, a little niche use, but at the same time can benefit your Pokemon in a real nice way. So that is what Sarina can run now. Now she has some tech 
that she can make use of. Now, going over to the stats, so here we go. Let's go take a quick peek. Like I said, stats, as you can see here, the one stat that really held Serena back was the speed stat of 72. Not that impressive, you know, along when you compare it to other Pokemon. HP, like I said, not that impressive either, but it is something there. Attack, really where she shines, 120, a real high attack stat. And her defenses were very impressive, 98, 98. Two points of shy of being 100 and, ex and like an excellent tanky Pokemon. So she can take a hit, she can dish out the hits as well. But like I said before, the one thing she lacked was a speed stat to match, make, to make her a real strong speedy Pokemon that can get in there and deal damage. But now, like I said, thanks to the Rapid Spin, she has that tech to, to work with. Like I said, moves here, Trop Kick, that, that's your stab boost. If you want real high power, you've got the High Jump Kick. If you don't want to run the Trop Kick, you do have access to a few moves. Now, let's say you're running, into, running a Sun Team, you can actually run Solar Blade. That is actually a move that you can run now. Normally, Solar Blade was only restricted to the Lorantis line, but now here in in Sword and Shield, I almost said Sun and Moon for a second, but in Sword and Shield, you can actually find Solar Blade as a TM, a very powerful grass-type move. Works similarly to Solar Beam, takes one turn to charge up, but if you're running into running it with the Sun, it, deal, it, go, it just charges up and instantly fires the turn you use it. Don't run this, don't run it though if you're fighting in Weather Wars though. Because if, if you fight in anything other than a in a sunny day, if you're run, fighting in the hail, fighting in the, fighting in the rain, fighting in the sandstorm, Solar Beam and Solar Blade will lose some of their power. More like half of their power. If you don't want to, if you don't want to run those, like I said, the other option you can have is, I believe, let's see, down here, you can have a real high power whip move, there's that. Or if you want, you can run Seed Bomb, bit more power, bit more not none of the same none of the accuracy loss stronger than trop kick but without the uh, attack stack drop and like i said here play rough is a tr you can find it like in max raid battles so there's your there's your there's your fairy type of physical attack you also have access to some interesting uh tech as well low kick there if you want to you know take take use of the physical attack stat that Serena offers as well as take advantage of those really heavy hitting pokemon or not really heavy hitters but just really heavy Pokemon. I like such a copper raha. I think that's how it's pronounced. You also have access to, like I said, you have access to the U-turn if you want to switch out, etc. Bounce is also a move that Serena learns. Facade if you want to take advantage of like say if the opponent burns you or something. Well there's your facade if you want to run that. And that is pretty much it. And like you and if you really 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 want to make use of a uh, high power high power you also have access to Mega Kick. Don't know why you want to run Mega Kick, but hey, let's add another kicking move to the to Serena. She likes to kick people around, and well, she's got Mega Kick to work with. As far as egg moves go, Serena does not have the most diverse set of egg moves. She only gets three this generation. First is Acupressure. You know, if you want to try setting up in singles, etc. Well, there you go. There is Acupressure. Will raise one of your stats randomly by two stages. You also get access to Endeavor, which is a, which is a move that will set your opponent to whatever HP you're on. So, like, say if you want to take advantage of Serena's high speed or something, you can go for like Endeavor Endeavor shenanigans, like run a Focus Sash, etc. Set your opponent to like one HP when they come in with Endeavor, and if you, it's a doubles battle, you can take use of like say a like a priority move you can use priority on your side of the field all you want your opponent is allowed to use priority moves that's the that is the trick and there you go there's endeavor right there and finally synthesis a recovery move i don't know if serena actually got synthesis in past generations but it's there if you want it oh yeah and also for completely forgot zen headbutt if you want to run a psychic type move as far as dark moves, it doesn't have an access to anything besides like like a payback. But if you're running a very if you if you're trying to run a fast arena, why would you run payback? Regardless, though, I think that is it. That is going to be it for Serena. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you all learned a thing or two about the Queen of Sundeer Pokemon. I'll see you all in the next video. 
give me give me a Pokemon you want me to you want me to rate, you know, get, analyze or something. Leave it in the comments down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.